How we feeling out there tonight? <laughs> yeah. I am not feeling good. So much more. It has a stream deck. Guys, this is the future. This is the future. Drum roll, please. I'm not even being dramatic when I say that this is going to absolutely change everything. All right, streamers, I know that every video that you come across on YouTube is this big, glamorous clickbait title, but I'm telling you guys, this is the real deal. First off, how many of you have actually heard of StreamerBot already? Go ahead, tell them, tell them it's a real deal. It's a real deal. Keeping an eye on your viewer list, making channel points, creating timed events, making commands, voice control, pipe train events. It even has support for hotkeys. It even has support for slobs. Yes, you heard me, guys. It even has support for slobs. You can even code chat. There is so much much that StreamerBot can do that we can't possibly get into every single little detail of it. But I'm going to go over the basics that every streamer can utilize on their everyday stream. Because if not, this video is going to get long as fuck. You guys ever heard of like a continuity error? I don't know. Anyway, and now before you bring out the pitchforks, I know there are plenty of wonderful other creators like Nutty who have already done videos like this, but my community has been incessantly asking me for this video and I send them Nutty's video, but then they still ask me for the video. So uh, you're welcome. Okay, so first things first, what do you need to use StreamerBot? The first thing that you're gonna need is a Twitch account. Sadly, as far as I know, there is no YouTube support. I stream live, twitch.tv slash legitaventure. I stream three nights a week. I stream every Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Come on over and ask me streamer bot questions. I would love to answer them. I'd love to help you guys. So once you get your Twitch account, I'm sure you already had that and were just waiting for me to finish talking. You're going to need to download OBS Studio or OBS Slobs and the WebSocket plugin. I'll put a link for all of that in the description if you need it, but I'm sure at this point you guys already have all of these things. If you're using anything like Leoran Board or Touch Portal or Lumia Stream, and if none of that means anything to you, then just go download the WebSocket plugin in the in the description. Now, a few things to keep in mind when you first open StreamerBot is like any new program, it's gonna take some time to learn the interface. So the very first thing that you're gonna do is come over here and you're gonna click connect to Twitch and that is going to connect you to Twitch. Um, and then you're gonna come over to the OBS tab here and then you're gonna connect your OBS as well. Mine is already connected, but once you do get yours connected, you're just gonna click auto connect and reconnect just in case anything does disconnect or every time you open it, you don't have to reconnect because that would be annoying. -ish. If anything does go wrong and disconnects, it will auto reconnect to it so that there will be no issues on your stream. Once your account is connected, you'll know because right over here, it's gonna show your scene. And like my scene right now is Pokey because this is normally the scene that I use on my stream when I'm playing Pokemon. And you can tell that I'm not streaming and I am recording recording it says right there and then if you use slobs you know you could go over here and connect your slobs account or whatever minor footnote you're going to want to go over to voice control as well and you're going to set that up for auto reconnect and just because i do want to take you through it real quick we're going to come right over here to our voice control tab and right now i do already have a command set up but i want to show you guys the settings tab you're going to want to set up whatever your audio microphone is routed through and then you're just going to click auto start listen to make sure it's working you can come over to your log and it is going to show up everything that you have been saying and what that is, is just every single word that StreamerBot has heard you say. I mean, it's it's a log. And then, if done successfully, you can do things like this. Drum roll, please. And I know the real reason you're here is the channel points. We're gonna get into it. Now, everything on StreamerBot runs through what is known as actions. So before we get into the actions tab, we're actually gonna come right over to our channel point rewards tab. Any channel point that is owned by Twitch cannot be interacted with on StreamerBot. So what I mean by that, this channel point right here is called Twitch owns this channel point. I just made it on Twitch for this video. If you look over here to where it says owned, you can see that it says no. So what you have to do, either you're gonna have to delete it from StreamerBot completely and then just recreate it from scratch or you can duplicate it and then it's going to create a copy then you can go back here and you can delete this one from streamer bot there you go and yeah it's kind of a pain in the but don't blame streamer bot it's not their fault blame twitch and by that i mean blame the fact that ui and coding and all of that is confusing as fuck do you guys understand it i don't understand it so you just spent the last six hours duplicating all your channel point rewards you finally came back to the video and now you're ready to learn about the actions tab you can do so many things with your actions tab like creating channel points like these it's playing sounds like these or like these and by the way, if you want to be a part of that channel point, that is my Boo Redemption. I do have a spot over in my Discord called Boo. Send me a WAV file or an MP3 file, and uh, you can become a part of that channel point over on my Twitch chat. Or we can even get into some crazier stuff like this. How we feeling out there tonight? <laughs> 
Yeah, I am not feeling good. No. Or you can get into the more complicated stuff like this. What's going on, Yugi? <laughs> Alright, so I know that this is the part where I'm going to lose you guys, but please bear with me. This is the important stuff. I'm not going to go too in detail with this stuff because it's going to get really complicated really fast. I'm just going to do a quick crash course to kind of get you guys started. Okay. Okay. So this is our actions tab. Now this is every single action that I have on my stream. So in my actions tab, I have everything from individual sounds to all of the commands that I have in my Twitch chat. I even have actions similar to Dixper that I can activate through bits. I even have things like my raid alerts and my raid sounds set up here through StreamerBot. I even have all of my snap cam filters linked up with my channel points so it's all automated in real time through StreamerBot. I even have something as complicated here as a panic button. This was something that I learned from Nutty back when the hate raids were a thing on Twitch. Uh, essentially what this button does is it plays a sound, it triggers sub only mode so that only subscribers can chat, and then I have a folder here that is before clear. So what that means is my Twitch chat is going to drop all of these messages into the chat before it clears my messages and then I have it set up to clear the entire chat and then spam more messages there's a delay and then it turns sub only mode off so basically what that does is it just eliminates all of the hate bots it gets rid of all of their messages and it gets rid of them from being able to chat unless they want to spend money on us which then we'll just ban them after they spend money on us so thank you or even things like fire sales that makes all of my channel points available for 1.4 x amount of time Okay, so I hope that you're still with me after all of that. I know that that was a lot, but there is so much more. There's so much more that I can tell you guys. It has a stream deck. A stream deck. You can even set up a profanity filter. So every time that I say fuck language, that happens. Guys, this is the future. This is the future. Streaming is going to change dramatically very very quickly look streaming has been so 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 difficult for so long i'm not even lying to you guys i'm not even being dramatic when i say that this is going to absolutely change everything it's very rare to find an application that is this user friendly that has voice control it has hotkey support it has a stream deck attachment it has the ability to change your channel points in real time it has the ability to automate your channel points it has the ability okay 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 you're right i'll shut up now i'll shut up now both gave me the drum roll. I had two chances to do it. I got this, chat. Nike, just do it. Bro, if I don't get signed by Nike, I heard that one rip.